Hi everyone, it's Marissa from the blog bumblebeeapothecary.com. Welcome back to my channel. One of the common questions that comes up when people want to start making things with tallow is where do I buy it? So today I'm going to talk all about where to buy tallow. Before I jump into the main part of this video, I wanted to quickly come in here and say a huge welcome to all of the new subscribers and all of my subscribers, whether you've been with me from the beginning or you're brand new, welcome and I'm so glad that you're here. I appreciate each and every one of you and I really would not be doing this without you. So thank you again for subscribing and for being here and watching. Also, I am getting ready to plan a bunch more new video content ideas and I would really like to know what you would like me to make videos on. So if you have ideas of anything that you'd like me to talk about or show how to make or anything like that, please um, leave me a comment and let me know what you want to see. I have had some really great ideas for some GAPS diet videos, so I'm planning on doing some more of those. And just let me know what else you would like to see. If you spent any time on my channel, you will know that I love grass-fed beef tallow. You can use it for so many different things and it has such amazing health benefits when you eat it internally, when you put it on your skin, and you can use it for so many different things. Candles, soap, cooking, tallow balm, conditioning leather, lubricating joints and machinery it just the possibilities are endless it's like the very best homesteading essential with incredible health benefits you, tallow is one of those things that in years past like a hundred years ago and definitely longer ago than that it was something that everybody used everybody knew how to make and everybody knew all the different things that you could do with it but more recently it has kind of fallen out of favor and in our lifestyle that we have today, a lot of us are kind of more disconnected with making things and where our food comes from and just a lot of the traditional skills that were just second nature to people in the past. So when people want to get into making things with tallow, cooking with it, making all the different things that you can make with it, they usually want to know where can I get it? And it can be a little bit intimidating to try to find beef fat and render it yourself, although we're going to talk about that and it's actually not as hard as it seems. But there are some different places where you can buy already rendered tallow too. So first let's talk about those sources. So if you go to a health food store or a specialty grocery store, you're probably going to have a better chance of finding tallow there than a regular chain grocery store. I would definitely try a place like Whole Foods or Sprouts, a different smaller health food store if you have something like that. If you don't see it in one of these stores, usually they're happy to bring in something like that, but more than likely you'll be able to find it. You'll find it already rendered like this. It'll either be refrigerated or, or in a sealed container at room temperature and it's ready for you to melt down and use. Another way that you can find already rendered tallow is by ordering it online. And it depends on what you're using it for, but you can get tallow that's already rendered for soap making. You wouldn't want to use that probably for cooking. If you're ordering it online, you sometimes have less control over the quality. You don't know as much about where it was raised and whether it was completely grass fed what the cattle were given, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So I would be a little bit more careful with that. There are some really good brands of already rendered tallow on Amazon, and I'm going to link some of those below for you to check out. The ideal and best way to source already rendered tallow is if you know of a farmer near you who raises beef and who processes it and renders tallow themselves. That's going to be a lot more rare to find, but it would be the most ideal. So the second option is to render it yourself. You don't have to be intimidated by it. It's actually a simpler, easier process than it probably sounds if you've never done it before. I have a video that goes through the whole process and shows you exactly how to do it, which I'll link below. But if you're going to do that, you're going to need to find the proper beef fat to do that. So you want to look for beef fat from cattle that have been raised on pasture and preferably finished on pasture as well. So 100% grass-fed beef fat. 
You can find this type of beef fat either by, again, a local farmer, that would be the best and most ideal source. That way you can meet them and figure out exactly how the cattle have been raised. Another way, again, is through the specialty grocery stores. They may or may not carry straight beef fat. If you don't see it out near the cuts of meat that are for sale and things like that, then I would definitely ask at the meat counter. I'm sure that they could provide you with some fat trimmings that way and you would be able to render those. If you go that route, then you'll want to ask, of course, how the beef was raised so that you know what quality it is. There is a variety of ways that you can come into contact with local farmers that raise their own beef too. Craigslist is a good way to find those. You can look up your local Weston A. Price chapter and that should have a list of resources for where you can find beef farmers in your area. I'm going to link a link to the Weston A. Price Foundation website below so that you can look up your local chapter's website there. If you're unfamiliar with what the Weston A. Price Foundation is and what it's all about, I have a video where I talk all about that and I'll link that below. Okay, so I hope that that answers some questions and I hope that that gets you started finding a good source for tallow or just beef fat so that you can render it yourself and I hope that you get started using it and making things and enjoying it. If you have any questions please leave me a comment below and also be sure and let me know what do you plan to make once you get some tallow for yourself leave me a comment and tell me all right if you like this video please hit the like button and share it with your friends if you're new please hit the subscribe button i make new videos every week on living a sustainable handcrafted lifestyle thanks so much for watching see you next time bye